Hello friends, this is NodeCrud application tutorial series with MongoDB database. And under this part, we will show you how to fetch data from MongoDB schema and then after display on web page in HTML table format. In previous part, we have already discussed how to insert data into MongoDB database by using Node application. Now in this part, we will fetch data from MongoDB database and display on web page under this NodeCrud application. Now let's start discussing this topic. So first we have goes to user.html file. And under this file, first we have to create one HTML table with four table column like name, email, age and action. Under this table, we have create one table body tag with id is equal to data area and we will fill this table with user data now we have goes to javascript code and here we have to create one get data function and this function will fetch data from mongodb database by using fetch api under this function we have to write fetch method under this method we have to write slash users so it will send get request to node application for fetch data after this we have to write then callback function with response variable as parameter under this function we have to write return statement with response dot json method so it will receive data from server and it has converted that data into json format after this, we have again write, then callback function, with data variable, as parameter. So this function will receive, data in JSON format, and now we want to convert this data, into HTML format. So here, first we have to write, HTML variable is equal to, blank value. After this, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, Data dot length value is greater than zero. If this condition falls, then it will execute else block of code. And here we have to write HTML variable is equal to this code with message like no data found. But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have to write data dot map method with callback function with row variable as parameter under this function we have to write html variable and here we have append this code in first table column we want to display user name details so here we have to write row dot name variable in second column we want to display user email details so here, we have to write, row.email variable. In third column, we want to display, user age details. So here, we have to write, row.age variable. And in last column, we will make edit and delete button, in upcoming video tutorial. So on every loop interval, it will fetch data from data variable, and convert into HTML format and store under this variable now for display this data under table so we have to write document dot get element by id method and under this we have to write table body id data area dot in the html variable is equal to html variable so it will display user data under this table so here this function is ready now we have called this function here, so when page has been load, then it will call this function, and it will display user data on web page, at the time of loading of page. Same way, we have called this function, under this insert data function, so when new data has been inserted, then it will display, last inserted data, on web page. So here, our front end code is ready, now we have goes to, server.js file. And here, we have to write, 
app.get method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write slash users in second parameter. We have to write a synchronous callback function with request and response variable as parameter. Under this function, we have to write constant users variable is equal to await keyword with user model dot find method. So this method will fetch all data from users schema and store under this users variable. Now for send data to client. So here we have to write response dot status method with 200 code. And then after we have to write JSON method with users variable. So it will send data to client and this data will be display on web page in HTML table. So here our code is ready and now we have goes to terminal. And here we have to run this command which will start node development server. So friends here in browser we have open node application base URL in the browser. And here we can see that user data has been display on web page in HTML table format. Now we have click on this add button and after click on this add button here we can see that modal dialog has been pop up on web page. And here we have one by one filling users form details. And after this, we have click on this add button and after click on add button, here modal box has been removed from web page. And here on web page, we can see that last inserted data has been display under this table. So this way, we can fetch data from MongoDB schema and display on web page. In next part, we will learn how to update existing MongoDB data under this node crud application so we will be meet in next part